The Quinnipiac baseball team has struggled to make the playoffs in its last two seasons, but is that really the only problem on their minds? Hi, I'm Wyatt Hamilton. I'm a graduate student on the Quinnipiac baseball team. Well, I, I got here in um, 2013, and um, when I got recruited here, they told me they were going to build a new field. Um, didn't quite happen. We finally got our dugouts painted blue from green. It's a little bit demoralizing coming out here and uh, seeing the field the way it is. It's not really in a good shape at all. And when you look in the dugouts, you see cigarette butts and just other kids on the field all the time playing. It's just uh, a little bit demoralizing seeing them take away from what you've worked so hard for to play at the Division One level. My name is uh, Benjamin Gibson. I am a senior here at Quinnipiac, and I'm a member of the baseball team. Needless to say, when we come out to practice, it's always a uh, it's always a sight to see what we find in the dugout. I know that I've found very interesting things, including maybe even some condoms, some empty beer cans, and all that kind of stuff. Seems like the uh, students here like to party in our dugouts. Some may say you need a winning program to upgrade your facilities, but the two go hand in hand. How can you get the best recruits and compete with Division One teams? with facilities that look like this. Uh, Pat Egan, uh, assistant baseball coach, pitching coach, and recruiting coordinator. Uh, I played here from 2002 to 2007 with a, uh, a graduate year, but for the most part, the, the, uh, the foundation of the field is pretty much the same. When, uh, when we're competing against other schools and universities that um, have definitely put some uh, effort into uh, updating their facilities and, and providing a, a good athletic experience for their kids, they're associating, you know, better facilities, field, uh, indoor hitting complex with uh, development. Obviously, it kind of goes hand in hand. Although the field may not be in the best shape, the baseball team is still optimistic about the upcoming season. Um, yeah, it definitely hurts a little bit. I mean, it's it, you feel like we're sort of behind in like the process of, you know, obviously we have the new teaming up with Adidas and everything like that, but we're in the we're in the process of being in the making, but it's coming soon. Christian Nicolosi, Hamden, Connecticut. Quinnipiac News.